let's look at this problem uh, which is a problem on optimization so let's read the question 240 meters 2 meters of fencing is used to form the two adjacent rectangular enclosures next to a wall so this is a wall and you're making two enclosures having the same dimension okay so the width is x and sorry the height is x and the length is y for both the cases so what are, what have what have they given us so they have given us that 240 is what is going to be used for fencing 240 meters of fencing is equal to how many lots of x are there so you're going to use fencing here here and here so that is three lots of x so that is three x and then you got two lots of y so plus two y okay so the first question is each rectangle has a length of x and length of x and a width of y okay you can also say this is the height or width so your first thing is you want to show y is 120 minus 1.5x so let me write it in first can I write this as 3x plus 2y is equal to 240 so I want to make y the subject so I can say y, well 3x is equal to 240 take away 3x so now I can divide the whole thing by 2 so y is equal to I just make half of 120 sorry 240 is 120 minus 3 divided by 2 is 1.5x and that's all so that's the first part okay so let me bring the second part up so the second part is this is the real problem of optimization okay so I want you to read it if you can pause it you can pause it so the question is now find the values of x and y so that the combined area of the two enclosures is a maximum so you want to maximize area with the restriction the restriction is that you have got a limited or a fixed amount of fencing wire so let's write area so what would be a so let me use a different color so a now the area the area of this would be x times y the area of this will also be x times y so the total area of both the enclosures would be 2xy two lots of xy so in any problem of optimization you need to write whatever you has have to optimize in terms of one variable so here this area is to be optimized or maximized and you have got two unknowns which is x and y well we have got y in terms of x so I can say well a is equal to 2 times 2x times 120 take away 1.5x okay so now if you expand this you can write a in terms of x so 2x times 120 is 240x minus 2x times 1.5 is 3x squared so this is the area in terms of x so the question is for which value of x is the area going to be maximum now once you know x you can find y by putting the value of x in this so well I can say I know for maximum area for maximum or minimum dA by dx should be 0 so if you differentiate this this should be 0 or if you think logically this is a upside down parabola so let me explain graphically also if you graph this you should have a good understanding of graphs so this is area a for area and x for the the width so the parabola is going to look somewhat like this okay so this is I know it's going to pass through a sorry 0 and somewhere here at this point you are going to get the dA by dx or the gradient function at that point is going to be 0 that's a simple idea okay so at this point you get the maximum area and that will give you the length okay so 
we know what is dA by dx. So let me write what is dA by dx. So we know A in terms of x. So I can differentiate this function. So differentiation of 240x is 240. Take away differentiation of 3x squared is 6x. And that I'm going to set equal to 0. So I can say 6x is equal to 240. So x is equal to dividing both sides by 40. Sorry, 6 is going to be 40 meters. So the width of the enclosure should be 40 meters. So let me do the working here. So what should be y? So you can put this in this equation. So y is 120 take away 1.5 times 40. So 1.5 times 40 is 60. So 120 minus 60 is 60 meters. 60 meters. So let's see whether the answer makes sense. So what we are saying is this is 40 meters, this is 40 meters, this is 40 meters. So 40 plus 40 plus 40 is 120 and this is 60 and this is 60. That will give you, so 60 plus 60 is 120, 40 times 3 is also 120 and 120 plus 120 is 240. So what will be the area? So the area we know is, so let me do the working here, so area so area, if, if the question is, what's the area, maximum area would be A is equal to 2 times X. What is the X? X is 40 times 60. Okay, so this is 6 times 4 is 24 times 2 is 48. So the maximum area you're going to get is 4,800 meters squared. So let me show you how you can confirm this on a calculator. So go to get the calculator out, go to graphs and type in the function y or the area. Area is, uh, you can also type this in. So let me type in. So this is 240x, 240x minus 3x squared. So that's the area. y is the area. And we know the maximum area is 4,800, so we are taking y on the, sorry, area on the y-axis. So I should, I need to change the scale, so press Shift F3. And I know x should be 40, so I, for on x-axis I'll go from say 0 to 100, something more than 40. Scale of say 10. And I know the area is 4,800, so use your common sense, I should go from 0 to say 5,000 or 6,000. Scale of say doesn't matter, let's say 100. You can put 1,000 there and then draw the graph. So this is the graph. And at this point you're going to get the maximum. So you can press GSOL and maximum. So when x is 40, y is 4,800. So what's the meaning of that? When the width of the enclosure is 40 meters, you get the maximum area of 4,800 meters squared.